Welcome everybody to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you to my subscribers that has been with, with me from the start and welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with me, with us, growing a big family that we are by hitting that subscription button and the bell notification to be notified of the new uploads. Up top, there's three little buttons you can click there, slow down the video to the speed you'd like. Also turn your CC for closed caption on every stitch I read will be, not read, every stitch I say will, you can read down here and take notes. In the description box, I do have a link. You can just click there and it shows you how you can do all of these things in two minute video that I have created. I also want to thank every single one of you for 2022 that had came through to help the women in need of thread that have sent thread themselves or have donated money for them. Thank you so much. I am so grateful and so are they. I also want to thank the women that have tagged me along creating my pieces. Thank you so much. And for the ones that are creating, please don't forget to tag. I do have a private crochet group. You are more than welcome to join in. Be part of the family with us there as long as you have a profile. There's too many scammers and too many frauds going on with the crochet groups nowadays. They're getting in there and they're scamming everybody out of their information through uh, mobiles or computers. They have links that says cut or bit. Don't open those links. These are hackers. They're scammers. Stay away from that. For that reason, my group is private. I also have a Facebook um, crochet page you can follow. I have Instagram and I have TikTok. All of these links are below in the description box. So thank you so much, everybody. And let's get started with the tutorials. I hope you're going to enjoy uh the tutorials for 2023. I have just launched two videos that I have started already 2023. So stay in good health, stay in good harmony with everyone, and don't be hard on yourself. You can create all things as long as you set your mind to it. Okay? I send you much loves and hugs. Okay, everyone. So today we're going to create a um, bathroom shower curtain. Um, I think it's called Bando or something. I'm not sure. I have to look it up. What's the name in English for it? But it's the shorter ones just to put up top where you have your plastic for the shower, if you know what I mean. Just to decorate something very light. I'm probably going to add some 3D flowers to it or some leaves. Of course, you can use the color you want accordingly to the uh, color of your drapes or your bathroom so this will be very easy to create and you can create the length you like so it's not like you have to keep taking that well you take your measurement to see which length you need but this is just you know one piece created until the desired length so it's going to be very um very fast um so we're going to get started. So 3.5 hook. I'm using a four ply and uh, not Aunt Lydia, similar to Aunt Lydia number three. These are Portugal threads, 100% cotton thread, a pair of scissors, a small hook to tuck in loose ends. And please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, it's free. Please do so and hit that bell notification to be notified of the new uploads. So let's get started, everyone. So the first thing you want to do is your slip stitch knot. That doesn't count as a stitch. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, until we have 53 uh, chain stitch. Always look ahead of the video before you create anything because some changes can be done or a mistake can be done. We can correct it. So make sure you give it at least a few seconds before you create the next stitch. If your stitch is too tight, use a three um, size bigger than your normal hook. That will help tremendously. And when I call out one chain or two, if it's too tight, then do an extra two or three chain more, okay? Okay, everyone, so I've done 52 chain stitch and not 53, 52. I'm going to come back on my one, two, three, on my 
fourth one and I'm grabbing both loops right on the center so it does not curve the pattern okay so we have the bottom one here and if you go right into the center you'll see the two of them here okay this is a little trick so your pattern doesn't start curving like a U shape okay so we're going to do seven double crochets I'm going to do a two chain space and I'm going to skip one, two. On my third one, I'm doing a double crochet. We need to build 10 squares like this. So chain two again. I'm going to skip one, two in my third one. Again, now I have my second square. Chain two skip one two in my third one double crochet so now i already have three squares we're going to do until we have 10 squares okay so i have my 10 squares and i'm going to do double crochet on the next space we're going to do double crochets until the end one per space and we'll have a total of 13 double crochets, including with the one we did here. So 13 double crochets until the end. So I've done my 13 double crochets. Now, there's like one chain left. And I prefer to have one chain left than to be short. So you would come just here. And then just pull it, take one chain out, and you're good to go. So very simple. We're going to turn our pattern around. And we're going to continue to do double crochet over double crochet. So we'll have a total of the 13 double crochets. So I'm going to come in the same space, or the first double crochet. I'm going to do a single and two chain next space and I do a single and two chain because I don't want a big mark going up just with chains it helps it to look more normal so we're doing one per space 13 double crochets until the last one so we've done our 13 double crochet chain two we're going to do those little blocks again so double crochet over double crochet all the way to the end and when we get to the end we're going to repeat the seven double crochets one per space until the very last one so you're supposed to have seven i'll meet you at the end So I've done my seven double crochets, I've done my 10 blocks, and my 13 double crochets. Now, we're going to do a chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we turn our work around. And once we've done our nine, we're going to come back on one, two, three, four, on your fifth one and do double crochet. Make sure you grab both loops so it doesn't start bending like a U shape. We're going to have seven double crochets. So we have two, four. This is our fifth. On the last one here, we have our sixth and one on top of the double crochet is our seventh double crochet. Okay, now we're going to build blocks again. Chain two, we're going to skip one, two on the third one. We're doing double crochet chain two again skip one two on your last one double crochet we need four blocks before we start filling in with double crochet so we have two blocks one two 
into the next double crochet. So now we have three blocks. One, two, and we have our fourth block. Now inside of here, we're going to do two double crochets and one on top of the double crochet. Again, two double crochet. So we're filling in two blocks from the previous row and one on top of the double crochet. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Chain two on top of the double crochet. So we're creating those blocks again. Chain two on top of the double crochet. Chain two on top of the double crochet chain two. We're going to do that until we meet where we have the, the 13 double crochets. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. We're going to do a double crochet right after the double crochet. Another one. Another one. So now we have four double crochets one after another after we've done our one two three four five six blocks so we're going to do one two three four five chain if you're too loose on your chain do only four we're going to skip one two three four coming into the fifth one we're doing a double crochet Next space, double crochet, double crochet, next space, double crochet, and the last one, double crochet. So we have five double crochets at the end. We're going to turn our work, come into the first double crochet with a single, two chain, come in again, and do double crochet, one per space, so we have the five double crochets again, chain five, two, three, four, five, if you're too loose then do only chain four, double crochet over double crochet, again repeating the same thing, until the very last one here so it's going to stay like that so now we're going to build the squares again chain two coming into the double crochet with a double crochet chain two double crochet over double crochet so we're going to do five blocks and i'll meet you over here just before the double crochet, okay? Because we need to start increasing there on the middle. So we've done our five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna come in directly and create two double crochets. We need to create the design here on the center and one on top of the double crochets, filling each one. And we're going to do one per space, two inside of this block, exactly how we did here, and one on top of the double crochet. So I'll meet you there. Okay, so now we have 13 double crochets. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. We're going to do a two chain, create our own blocks again. Double crochet, two chain, another block. So we're supposed to have three blocks here now. Two chain, and we're going to create our double crochets, one per space all the way to the end. So we're going to be doing our seven double crochets. Okay, so 
we're going to do again nine chain one two three four five six seven eight nine for some of you that follow me this is similar to and i believe it's called the avalanche or avalanche curtain um i have one that i've done similar for the kitchen okay so this is similar but not the same so i'm going to turn around we're going to create again uh, coming into the one, two, three, four on your fifth space with double crochet. So we're going to create those seven double crochets here at this end. For some of you that follow me, it's probably like reminding you now. You're probably saying, oh yeah, I remember that one. Okay, so two, four, uh, five, two, four, five six on my last one here and my seventh one will be on top of the double crochet okay so i have my seven double crochet now we're going to create the squares again two chain we're going to skip one two on the third one one two chain we're going to skip one two on the last one so we're pretty much going to create One, two, creating these blocks. One, two. So this is the same way as I had done the other curtain. One, two, come into the 13 double crochets. And we're going to do one per space. So we'll have 13 double crochets here. So one double crochet per space. We're going to continue to do the 13 double crochet until the end, till the last one. And then we're going to build squares again until we get here again where we have the double crochets. Try to brighten up here a little bit. So now we're going to do 13 double crochets. So we have the four here. We're going to create four inside of the five chain space. One on top of the double crochet next space double crochet next space double crochet so we're going to have a total of 13 exactly how we started off and make sure you get the very last one or you'll have a big boo-boo on your pattern will be all slanted sideways so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen okay we're going to turn around one two three four five row six so i'm coming back into the same space creating a single two chain next space so we're doing the 13 double crochets the same way as we just finished doing one on top of each one until the end here then we're going to build little blocks again so i've done my 13 I've done my two chain and I've did my double crochet. So I have the first block, chain two, next space, block, chain two, next space, block. Now here we're going to create, there's two blocks left before we hit the 13 here on the center. We're going to create seven double crochets, so two inside of the space, one on top of the double crochet, one inside again, and another one inside, so it's two per space, and one on top of the double crochet. So we've done our seven double crochets. We're going to do chain two and skip one, two, come into the third one. So we're going to have one square here we're going to do 
seven double crochet, one for space. So we have three, four, five, six, and seven. We're going to do two chain, skip one, two, come on the last one here. And we're going to repeat the same thing as we did here. So we're going to do the seven double crochet. So two inside of the space, one on top of the double crochet, and two again inside of the space, and one on top of the double crochet. So you have two, four, six, and seven again. So you'll have seven on this side, seven on the middle, and seven on this side. So now we're going to complete the three squares we have here. One, two, chain, come into your double crochet. One, two, chain, into the next double crochet. One, two, chain, and do your seven double crochets that we have here like that okay so i'll meet you at the end okay you guys going into row seven one two three four five six seven so we're going to do the nine chain one two three four five six seven eight, nine. We're going to turn our work. We're going to come back on the fifth space. So one, two, three, four on the fifth space. We're going to create our seven double crochets exactly how we've been doing. One per space. So we have four. Five, six on my last one, and seven on top of the double crochet. So we have seven. Now we're going to create the blocks until here. That means we're going to leave one square out. So that means you're going to have one, two, three, four blocks. So chain two skip two space into the next that's your first block and now you create three more until you have four so you'll have one here two three and four and i'll meet you there okay so we are going to come in and do double crochet we need 13 double crochets so we're going to do one on top so we already have four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two inside, eleven, twelve. And 13 on the first double crochet. Okay, we're going to do chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to skip all of these. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to come in the sixth space. Like that. And now we're going to continue to do the same thing as we did here. The 13, we're going to do here. So we have two, three, four, five, six. So we've done our 13 double crochet. We want to do our square. So two chain into the double crochet. 
two chain and into the double crochet. So we're going to have two squares here only. We're going to repeat the same thing as we did here with the five chain, okay? So two, three, and four. Because afterwards, this pattern will be repeatedly the same way. That's why you can keep going as long as you like. One, two, three, four, five chain. I'm going to skip one, two, three, four, and I'm coming in my fifth and doing my five double crochets. So I have three, four, and five. You might have to go to video two if it becomes too long to, because it's so detailed, right? So we don't want to make sure that there is no mistake. So going into row eight, we're going to turn around. I'm going to do my single on the first one and chain two. Coming into the next one. Double crochet and I have a knot here. How beautiful, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, let's try that again. So you have your two, your three, your four. and your fifth double crochet. So basically we are repeating what we have here, right? So now we gotta do one, two, three, four, five chain, and we're coming in to the next double crochets. So we'll have the four double crochets here Exactly like we had here. Okay, so we had two rows. That's exactly what we're doing. Chain two, double crochet, chain two, and we're coming on top of the double crochet where we have the 13 double crochets, and we're going to create the 13 double crochets again, one per space until the end here. I'll meet you here at the end. So now we're going to do chain five again. Two, three, four, five. And we're going to continue to do the 13 double crochets exactly how we just did them here. So we're basically just going to repeat 13 double crochets and we're going to do the four blocks until we get here. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. So we've done the 13 double crochets. We're creating the little squares. So we'll have four. And we're going to do the seven double crochets here at the edge. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is half of the motive of these motives flowers, if you want to call them. This is half. Now we're going to, from here on, we're going to build the other half. So here we increased. After we do this row, we're going to decrease. So you can have your tip there of the curtain hanging. Okay. So we've done the seven double crochets. Now we need to do the decrease. Okay. So we're going to turn around and we're going to do one chain and come into the same space with a slip stitch. Okay. Because we need to slip stitch one Per space we need to go all the way we're decreasing so we're not working no more on this edge here okay 
Okay, so we're not working. This is a tip. Now we're going to come back in the same space and do a single and two chain on your seventh one. We need to create the same thing as we have here. So, like I mentioned, this was the half of the pattern of the motive. We're just going to repeat it the same way as we started it. So, two double crochet inside of the space, and it's not hard from here on to figure out because it's just a repeat of the same rows. So basically you're repeating the row here and then you have to come here. So that means we have to do the walk back again to do these ones, right? Chain two. Create the double crochet and again Double crochet. So obviously we need to come and work on this one here, right? So we have one, two. We're going to skip one, two on the third one. And you can see that we are facing. So we need to build the seven double crochets here, right? So one per space, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, two chain, and we're coming in and doing double crochet. So we're going to repeat the seven, two, four, six, seven as we have here, right? So we're going to do one, two, three, four five inside one two three four five and one on top six and with the first one makes the seven so basically we're just repeating the same thing as we did here. And then we're just going to um, repeat the same thing. Two chains, skip two space, repeat what we did here. Okay, everyone. So we've done the seven in the center. And now we're going to do two chain, skip one, two on the third one. And we're going to create these seven double crochets exactly how we did here so we're just going to repeat it okay so we do our seven we have four five six and seven chain two and we skip one two we come to the last one here and create two chain again do your square two chain and a square again so we'll have three squares exactly like we have here if you realize we're decreasing so the next row we'll be doing will be this uh, this one here okay because we're on this one now so we're going to do the 13 double crochets one per space so we have four here on top of the double crochets four in the center exactly how we did here and four come inside of the first double crochet and complete your five I got thread rolling all over my feet as usual. Okay. 
Trying to make sure we don't miss any of them. This is where I had the knot on my thread, so kind of hard to see where the stitch is. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. Okay, so we're going to turn around and we're going to create the 13 double crochets here, one on top of each double crochet as we did here. So come back in with a single two chain and continue your 13 double crochets. Okay, exactly like we have here. So we are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Row ten. We're gonna continue until here and then I'll come back to you again. Now that we've done the 13 double crochets, chain two, we're just gonna build squares until we get to the motive. So we have two squares, three, skip two space, four, two chain, and my fifth. So now we're going to do the 13 double crochets two inside, we're going to do the seven, two inside, and one on top of the double crochet, exactly like we have here. Okay, so we're just repeating it. And then we're going to have one, two, three, four, and five um, squares again, and then do our seven. Okay, so I'll meet you here after we do the 13. So two on the center, And then on top of the double crochets, total of 13, okay? So I've done my 13. We're going to do the five squares. Skip two space on the third one. Chain two, skip two space on the last double crochet here. Chain two. This is the third one, the fourth, and the fifth square. So now we're going to just do these seven double crochets. Okay, so I've done my seven double crochets. We're going to go and do this one now. Okay, so we have to turn around and we have to do that walk. So I'm going to go up one chain and in the same space, slip stitch, slip stitch, slip stitch. We're decreasing slip stitch and again and again and here until the last one. Come back in, do your single and two chain, come inside of the square. Do your two double crochets. So we're going to build seven double crochets again on top of the double crochet. Now, this is not hard to follow because you can see we're lined up right over here, right? It's all in a line. So then we'll have one, two, three squares. And again, two double crochet and one on top. So we have our seven double crochets, one, two chain, first square, one, two chain, second square, one, two chain, and our third square. So basically we are repeating the 13 double crochets we have here on top of the double crochet, and then we're going to proceed with the squares again so we have one two three four five squares which will be the five squares here and do um our five chain but we'll get here i'll get to you when i get here so you'll understand and not get confused okay so we're just going to repeat 13 double crochets so i've done my 13 now we're going to do the squares 
exactly as we have here. So we need one, two, three, four, five squares. And then we're going to repeat the four double crochets and then the five chain. Okay. So I've reached here where we have the 13. We're going to do four double crochets. Remember, and we did the five squares right after we did 13 here, right? So we have our fourth, and now I'm chain five. Two, three, four, five. I'm going to skip one, two, three, four. I'm coming in my fifth. And doing my five double crochets. Okay, I'm going to turn around and we're going to do the same thing as we did here with the five chains again. So that means we're coming back into the same space. If I can get my thread through it, right? Single, two chain, two, three, four, double crochets, five. We're going to do the five chain again as we did here, and then the four double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to come in and repeat the same thing. So basically we have the two rows the same here on here. So now we have to repeat what we've done here. So we know that we have one, two, three, four, five, six squares before we do the seven double crochets. One, two, into the next space. 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 One, two, one, two, on the third one. So it lines up exactly as we have here. And we're going to do the seven double crochets. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Should end up right on top of the one lining down here. Okay, so we're here, so now we're going to have one, two, three, four, two chain, First square, second square, third square, and fourth square. And we're going to do the seven double crochets. So it's always two rows of seven double crochets if you realize. Always two rows, okay? So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so we need to decrease. So we're going to do one chain, come back into the same one, the first one, slip stitch, slip stitch, slip stitch, all the way to the tip because it, these rows are always done by two with these seven. Into the last one here, come back in. Do your single, your two chain, and now two inside of the space. We're going to create the seven double crochets. One, two, and three. So basically, we are on the last one, which is this one here. So now we're going to do 
only squares until until we do the 13 double crochets so you know you have to do your four inside of the space here to get your 14 so four and then four and then five right so that's all there is really to it it's just squares all the way to the end and we're pretty much finished with the first motive and now the rest is just a repeat of everything we just did and that's how you go the length you want because this is not done by the front this is created by the side oops I made a mistake I'm talking too much and not a good thing I lose concentration so skip one two into the third one chain two skip one two into the third one okay so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and you're supposed to end up with ten squares okay so I'll meet you at the end okay so I've done my ten squares I've done my four double crochet four inside of the chain and five at the end so now we're going to turn around and remember what I said these are done by two rows of two right so we know that we have to do 13 double crochet because it's repeatedly two rows the same way so I've done a single two chain by the way one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so we finished doing row 13 and now going into row 14 I really didn't want to count because it just repeats itself you know the pattern so we're doing the 13 double crochets again and we're just going to repeat everything as if we were just restarting the pattern basically and that's why you can go the length you would like okay and one more here so we must repeat again the other 10 and your 7 okay because it has to be two rows the same way okay so we're going to do the 10 squares again and the seven double crochets at the end okay after you've done your 13 so chain two and proceed with your squares chain two and so on until the end so i'll meet you at the end of my row okay so this is what the motive is going to be this flower here so basically what we're going to do is we're going to repeat this is the same thing as if you would have been here so we're going into the third row again right one two into the third row which is this one so you know that we need to do the increase that means we need the nine chains so we'll have to do the nine chains come back on the fifth chain and continue to do these seven double crochets um, I'm not going to keep repeating because it's the same thing all you have to do now is just rewind if you have to or you can do both actually you can rewind and if you have a marker then the best thing to do is grab your marker and let's say you're on the third row so you would put your marker there you know that you're going to do this row and once you turn it around you're on the next row then you put your marker there and you know you have to do this one until the desired length you measure your pull on your tub for some of you that do have the curtains this was a special request it's because the person does have uh, curtains on it with the rug so you measure it to the length you like now this is going to be hanging like this on 
the curtain on the rod. Okay, the rod's going to go through here with the plastic behind it, and this is going to be hanging. Now, might put some flowers here, 3D flowers. I'll see how it goes, because since they requested it, I will keep this for myself, because I do have curtains, too, in my bathroom. So, um, and then I will meet you at the end when I'm finished with my, um, with my, um, uh, curtain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we're just increasing again. So you'd come in your fifth space, one, two, three, four, and five. You're going to create again all over the seven double crochets. That's why I say it, I, I can't keep just, you know, recording the same thing over and over. It's taking too much memory and space on my mobile. It's just a repeat. That's why I say put a marker. And if you don't have a marker, put a piece of thread a different color. So we have five, six on your last one. Make sure you grab both loops or it's going to curve. And then one on top of the double crochet. So basically... I have my second, so this one here created. Now I'm going to do one, two, three, four squares, and then my seven, and then my squares again. And you just repeat the same thing all the way to the end. Okay? So I'll meet you at the end of my creation. Mm -hmm.